your reviewer. You review it, I review you. This is my partner, Mr. It. Today, we're taking a look at the Obscure's review of the I Spy series. Butter dish in the sky. I just got really high. Now I toot. Let's read the smoke. It's a bearded rainbow, bearded rainbow, bearded rainbow. A bearded rainbow. Mushy, mushy. Oh my god, he's this kind of idiot. I am the shadow out of your past. I am the haunter of your very soul. I am your 8th grade English teacher, Mr. Jackoff. And the winner of the most unfortunate name contest is... BJ Harddick. Me, 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 me. It may come as a shock to you. But I am dying of an incurable disease, and rather than go out gracefully, I have decided to take everything that is owed to me. Money, sex, meals, and in your case, a book report. This is why teachers make terrible supervillains. Turn in your final book report to me, and I might allow you to live. Hmm. Book report or death? Don't make him choose! Brothers Caramuzzle Tough. Oh, those Russians. Ugh, too many words. Too many words. Too many words. Why do all my books have all these words in them? It's so inconvenient. It's almost like that's the point of the medium. Mimi. This is I Spy, or as some of us confused children called it, Ispy. Okay, no one actually called it that. I just drank too much paint as a kid. What? I just drank too much paint as a kid. You weirdo! In this series of books, children were given a congested picture and a list of objects to find in each said picture. Kinda like a word search of knickknacks. It's like Where's Waldo if Waldo were a thimble or a safety pin. Yeah, kinda more like Where's Waldo if you had to find him multiple times in the same picture. Wait, they call them riddles, but there's no inquiries. It's just like a rhyming word bank or really bad rap lyrics. I spy a mailbox, a feather, a flute, a horseshoe, a beetle, a basket of fruit, seven pine cones, an apron, a key, a turtle, a swing, and the letter B. Let's dream and have it. We're gonna go on a magical adventure to the world of... Traffic Jam Nightmare Land. You mean Los Angeles? As a kid, I always wanted to turn my living room into this setup and just live with it. Now that I have my own place, what's stopping me? Lack of free time? I'm fucking lazy, that's what. Yeah, that works too. We've also got Cloud City here. It is cloudy to partially sheepish. Reuse, reuse, recycle your jokes. Okay, we haven't watched much of this guy's show, but in what other context would that joke work? Oh, and there's a bonus riddle at the very end. I visit each page and nay, of course. I'm Pegasus, the flying duck. What? There's a duck on every page. That's got to be the answer. Fair enough. I did purchase a second book. I spy Spooky Mansion. Well, at the very least, he caught his mistake in post. But we're not going to do this one until next Halloween. Nah, I can't wait that long. Good. We didn't want to have to wait months on end for a part two. This one seems to want to follow a narrative where the reader wanders through a scary dollhouse, roaming from room to room, eventually running across Leatherface. I expect that to be a lie of sorts. Oddly enough, I didn't really find this one spooky as a kid. Interesting, yes, but... Compared to the older I Spy books, I Spy Funhouse, for instance. Yeah, those creepy clown puppets are hiding on every page. And odds are you'll never notice them. In a clever twist, the book actually ends with the reader waking up in their bed, finding that the whole thing was a dream and they are now safe. Or are they? Brush up, brush up, brush up. Because nothing's more threatening than a dentally hygienic rabbit? So, of course, with a moderately successful children's property, the next logical step was to give it a TV show. Yes, no matter how convoluted it sounds, I Spy had a TV series. Because everything had a TV series at some point. Now, the books didn't have any characters, so what kind of protagonist would you pull from a gallery of jumbled junk? Hi, I'm Spyler. A living, breathing pile of junk. A+. plus. Actually, that makes sense. Hey, it's, it's the sandcastle, just like the book. And I'm sure that's what made some people really enjoy the show. 
So what do you think of my book report, jerk off? An oral presentation was not one of the options. Really? That's your problem? Not the fact that he chose a children's picture book for his eighth grade book report? To be fair though, if I were a teacher, I would have given him credit for going into the history of the series and even for looking at it in other mediums. And you will pay for this, Kevin. You will pay. My name's not Kevin. What? My name's not Kevin, it's The Obscure. And you gotta put the the in there or else people will confuse me with all the other obscures of the world. Yes, yeah, like... I don't know, the survival horror game? Obscurus Lupa, maybe? Then all my effort today was... Your efforts today were for nothing. Just as most of your life has been a waste of time. <laughs> I think my phone just backfired. Is it there? Hello? Fuck! Overall, this review is... weird, to say the least. It's got a weird setup, and the Obscure himself is a really weird kind of guy. But that weirdness is actually what makes this review entertaining. It's the kind of comedy that you get the most out of by just letting it happen and not thinking about it too much. I'm the review reviewer. You review it, I review you. Butter dish in the sky. I just got really high. Now I've toked. Let's read the smoke.